Royal Caribbean's new, nearly 1,200 foot long and 250, 800 gross ton icon of the seas, which sets sail from the port of Miami on its maiden cruise. Just before sunset on Saturday, towers like a multi-layered birthday cake. The frosting on top is in the form of seven swimming pools, a whimsical striped carousel, groves of tropical greenery and twisting water slides in green, pink, blue and orange. When the $2 billion ship sailed into Miami, with music blasting on January 10th, after crossing the Atlantic, with a pit stop on Puerto Rico, from the shipyard in Turku, Finland, where it was built, it was greeted with a cacophony of fireboat salutes and a banner flag flyover. The commotion brought traffic to a halt, along the causeway to Miami Beach that parallels the cruise ship channel. Argentine soccer star Lionel Messi was even in on the ship's early fanfare. As the icon of the sea's godfather, christening the 20-deck ship on January 23rd, the ship is officially the biggest cruise ship in the world, with Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, new in early 2022 trailing close behind at 1,188 feet long and 235,600 gross tons. Passengers on its maiden voyage, a sold-out, seven-night cruise to the Eastern Caribbean, will be able to enjoy some next-level experiences at sea. Finding time to fit in everything on board, Icon of the Seas promises to keep passengers busy. And speaking of passengers, the ship can carry a whopping 7,600 guests at full capacity, along with two, 350 crew, so about the whole population of Sedona, Arizona.